Who's Elliot? I think if you've asked anybody, Elliot is BU Athletics as a whole number one fan. Elliot is definitely BU's number one fan, hands down. I don't think there's any question he's, he's BU's number one fan. You can look out in any arena and you'll see him. He's got his red BU gear on, his hat. I remember that first day just being overwhelmed with this person who, you know, just wanted to get to know me the very first day. And now going on eight years later, he still has the same thing. Comes into my office, what's going on? What are the girls' GPA? What are they majoring in? How are we doing? He was right there when I was a uh, student athlete, you know, at Boston University. At that point, you know, I'm an 18-year-old and he's probably 28 or 29. I think he even embraces him more this day and age because, uh, you know, the age difference has changed. But even then, you know, he uh, was somebody who was a tried and true BU fan. We also knew him as the guy who had all the statistics in the game because he would come down, uh, particularly in the last, you know, month of the season when there were, you know, five, six, seven games left and he'd have all the mathematical uh, probabilities left. That's a real one. How old is it? Maybe. I think he's passionate about the school because it took a chance on him and it really opened up doors. It's where, you know, he worked on his speech when he was younger and he had hard times and um, the amount of coaches that have reached out to him, the amount of administration, everyone here has reached out and been there for him through his time when he was young all the way until now and he's giving back and I think that's where BU holds such a dear place in his heart. BU Athletics is part of Elliot's identity and he's become such a part of the, the fabric of our department and all our teams. He has a disability, but he always manages to make it to, I'm pretty confident, every single BU athletic event. And that says a lot about who he is as a person. Good to see you. He's a good BU supporter of every sport, right? Every sport. That's what makes you unique. If you're a true sports fan, you're not always cheering for the one that has the most goals or the starter but you know the name of every single kid on a team. And I think that's something that I've only met one person that's done that, and that's Elliot, is that he, he gets the media guide every year and he wants to know all the new freshmen and he wants to know where they're from and he wants to meet their families when they come to tailgates. And not only does he travel sometimes with the two hockey teams, male or female, but he'll go to soccer games, lacrosse games, field hockey games. It's pretty special that he can come with us and I think when he does, it's, kind of he's a good luck charm in a way. He's obviously somebody too who's very committed, you know, uh, some of the, the uh, everyday tasks that might be simple for some people aren't as easy for him and that, that includes getting around Babcock Street, walking back and forth to work, uh, you know, for many, many years down to the middle of Boston, you know, when he worked with John Hancock. And, uh, so th there's definitely that element of conviction that he gets things done. And he's also got a little bit of an opinionated side to him, you know, that he'll, uh, he'll let you know when something's wrong or he, he thinks something needs to be addressed. Every time I do go to his place, though, I have to caution you that I'm a threat to have a sprained ankle because he has every media guide since about 1960. You get the letter? I can go down the mailbox right now if you want, and I can come back. How's that? I try to assist him a little bit. You know, if it's something like going to get some groceries or a haircut or just going over his house and watching a, you know, a couple sporting events. The old playground, where I could hang out back in the 50s, play softball, baseball, play football. I know he's donated to every, every team, from the dance team to the hockey team. He's given back to us. It isn't just a couple of ice hockey or basketball or lacrosse teams. It goes all the way down to those dance teams or maybe the figure skating club or other smaller entities at the university. Initially, when I met him, I was a little scared because I didn't want him to get frustrated with me for not understanding him, but he is so patient and he wants to take the time for you to be able to communicate with him. I think just having a conversation, it really makes you realize to slow down in, in your life and to take the time to get to know people and listen to what they're about. He's always asking me, are you getting those good grades? Are you liking what your major you're in now? Are you gonna switch on me? <laughs> I 
Elliot is older than me again. <laughs> only, only for educated news. <laughs> It's nice to do something to make him feel as special as he makes all of us feel. I like the hat though. The hat was oh, cool. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, everyone needs a good hat. Thank you for all of you. My place is new to all of you. To keep it around there for more than four years. <laughs> From the athletic sports standpoint, uh, is definitely a, a, a figure here. You know, Rhett's a figure, Jack Parker's a figure, Elliot's a figure here at Boston University, and he's one that, uh, that brings so much to the, the table in, in, in the sense of concern, support, uh, that uh, we're all very, very appreciative that uh, he's part of it here, and we hope it continues for many, many years. Happy birthday! Yay! Happy birthday.